The new Pamban Bridge, India's first vertical lift sea bridge, will be inaugurated on April 6th by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Spanning just over two kilometers, the bridge is a green and sustainable project and one of India's most iconic infrastructure projects, according to the Southern Railways. It is India's first vertical lift rail sea bridge. And we can uh, not see such a bridge in India. And we can see such uh, similar structures in the Tower Bridge in London or Arthur Bridge in USA kind of um, uh, um, countries. And this bridge uh, is uh, almost uh, 2.08 kilometer length on the bridge, on the sea. And uh, it is built, uh, the structure will sustain uh, at least a century. The new railway sea bridge connects Mandapam railway station with Rameshwaram Island, replacing the old Pamban Bridge. The British-era Pamban Bridge, completed in 1914, was India's first sea bridge and had begun showing signs of wear and tear after more than 100 years of service. Unlike its predecessor, which could only support trains travelling at a maximum speed of 10 km per hour, the new Pamban Bridge can accommodate speeds of up to 160 km per hour. However, due to certain technical factors, trains will operate at speeds of up to 98 km per hour. It will lift up to 17 meter height. So, it will accommodate the bigger ships. So it gives a lot of boost to the, uh, the Rameshwaram, we all know that uh, uh, it, it is a lot of ferries are moving. So commercially it is very good. Apart from that, the usually now the train stops, last uh, four or five years the train terminated at Mandabam. So the, now the people can directly go to the Rameshwaram. And Rameshwaram also we have a station development work. So if that also it is about to complete. Once that uh, completed, the people will really have a, a very good uh, uh, travel um, features. The bridge is expected to improve connectivity while the ongoing upgradation of Rameshwaram railway station is set to further boost tourism in the region. This will definitely boost the uh, tourism and the pilgrimages. And uh, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, development that happen in and around uh, the places like Ramanadapuram and uh, the Madurai. Madurai station also we have developed. So with the, the and uh, we have upgraded the uh, pit lane facilities in the Rameshwaram. Now it was a very old, it was a diaplatic conditions. We have made ready. That, that will be also commissioned along with the station development works. So once it is done, we will, we will be able to operate uh, trains from Rameshwaram the uh, southern end of the India to the northern end of the India, the Baramulla or beyond that. Thank <laughs> இங்கே வரக்கூடிய பயணிகளும் சரி யாத்திரைகளும் சரி ரொம்ப கஷ்டப்பட்டு இருந்தாங்க அதுபோல இந்த பொருளாதார சிக்கல்லாம் ரொம்ப இடையூறா இருந்துச்சு இங்க வரது பஸ் போக்குவரதுனால கட்டணம் வந்து அதிகமா இருந்துச்சு ட்ரெயின்ல வந்து ரொம்ப கம்மியான கட்டணம் தான் அதுபோல ராமேஸ்வரத்துல இருந்து போற வியாபாரிகள் எல்லாரும் மதுரை போறதுக்கு தான் ரெகுலரா போறவங்க அவங்களுக்கு எல்லாம் அந்த பாமன் பாலம் இல்லாத ரயில் பாலம் இல்லாத ரொம்ப சிரமமா இருந்துச்சு தற்போது வருகின்ற ஞாயிற்றுக்கிழமை வந்து இந்த புதிய பாமன் ரயில் பாலம் தரக்கிறது வந்து ராமேஸ்வர மக்களாகிய எங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாவும் the new bridge features a 72 meter vertical lift span that rises 22 meters above the water, allowing larger vessels to pass beneath with ease. Originally scheduled to open in January 2023, the project faced multiple delays due to environmental and logistical challenges. The Park Street's turbulent waters, strong winds, and unpredictable weather patterns made construction difficult. Additionally, the region's vulnerability to cyclones and seismic activity required meticulous planning and a robust structural design. 
The bridge is expected to improve the efficiency of rail transport, ensuring faster travel times and better connectivity between Rameshwaram Island and the mainland.